Hi, this is Brandon Smith from ThirstShim.com. Today we're going to talk about an exercise called the Alternating Chest Supported Dumbbell Row. This is a progression that you can use for your chest supported dumbbell rows. Uh, it's also just a way to mix it up if you want to keep more rowing variations in your training program but kind of give you uh, some freedom and some wiggle room to kind of play around with things. This is also great to make sure that we're getting some rotation and we're alternating each arm. I really like the uh, how the how the trunk and the rib cage rotates when we're using uh, different kind of reaches and pulls. So for your overhead athletes, this is a really good option to make sure those arms get to moving. Um, same thing with your runners. You're going to get something that kind of looks more like locomotion when they're actually running. So um, you can kind of say it's semi-specific, but overall just the, the shoulder health options that come from this as a row variation is really good. But then once you start getting some alternating movement patterns in there, it just makes it even more beneficial. So need a bench uh, on an incline, ideally around 15 to 30 degrees. It will vary on your client's arm length and you know the kind of space that you've got available. Um, but a 30 degree incline is what we find works really well with most of our athletes. It's what our kind of default setting is. And then we kind of play with it from there. Um, so and then you just need a pair of dumbbells. So all we're going to do is we're just going to get our regular chest supported dumbbell row position. So chest down on the bench, feet on the ground here. And what we're going to do is I'm going to row one arm, doesn't matter which one. So I'm going to start with my left, I'm going to row one arm, and then I'm going to just alternate back and forth. So here, so notice that as soon as the dumbbell gets back to the start position, I start rowing the other arm. And we're kind of making sure that there's always one arm good and long. And then we would just perform that for however many repetitions. Um, per arm that we have programmed. Um, generally, we're gonna have that for three to five sets of six to 10 reps an arm. Um, just pretty much a standard protocol with our regular just supported dumbbell rows that we use with our athletes and clients. So this is just a different variation. Uh, give you some more wiggle room, some different programming options. If you got any questions, leave them in the comment section. Thanks, have a great day.